in terms of the life businesses or for-profit business, which SL is, I can understand that thought process of not wanting to give everyone a discount. I could also understand the thought process of nonprofits who may be helping with the pandemic and maybe those who aren't or might be helping adjacently by providing masks and supplies or, you know, whatever, or people who are directly helping every day in the field, emergency workers, things like that. What I want to say is I could definitely understand wanting to help take um, meeting and discussing things and planning things out in order to assist the world during this issue right now that's going on. However, would it make business sense? It could potentially maybe, maybe not bankrupt Linden Labs to give away everything for free. So I understand that. But at the same time, if you're going to do this, for um i feel like this is a dangerous topic to get into what do you guys think it's a dangerous topic to get into because it's like oh you're criticizing ch them doing something for charity no i i, I think and... it's more of a look at um what are they doing for their user base like you said like i, I like your point earlier that you said off cam when you were talking about like how it's kind of like messed up that they wouldn't do anything for their like people that give them all their usual money but they're like doing it to attract people to come in from the outside like they're not they're not lowering sim prices the problem is the problem is that it's for non-profit if they were longer for new users because i'm trying to think of a way i'm trying to dance around it and be delicate and answer the question but i'm like how the fuck do you say this without sounding like an asshole because it's for non-profit that's the thing but i'm yeah what i'm trying to understand is what kind of non-profit organization would they even have because i'm trying to think could they do as a nonprofit in Second Life? They only have one. They, they, so they have Relay for Life. So Relay for Life is, I think, the one that they're that they have now. That's doing the events. I haven't been myself, but that's that's the one that I've seen. But other than that, I don't see any other. Uh, Guys, let me read it to you. It says, we've been getting a lot of questions lately about how Let Second Life can help organization events and conferences continue to safely and efficiently operate during the Corona outbreak. They're helping organizations, events, and conferences outside of virtual worlds continue business as usual during the outbreak. Many individuals and organizations are being affected by this unprecedented public health crisis, and we recognize that Second Life provide an important and valuable way for people to stay in touch with their friends and coworkers amidst new social distancing protocols, mandate remote work requirements, and other precautionary measures. So there are new deeper discount rates for educations and nonprofits. One of the things we've implemented to help in reduction in, is pricing to a flat 99 month per region to qualified accredited nonprofit or educational as institutions effective immediately this limited time price reduction is applicable to any new or added regions including renewal or existing re regions excuse me the time to take advantage of this new offer is limited but for those education nonprofits that qualify and take advantage of of it, then the newly reduced 99 month fee will remain in place after the offer expires as long as the organi organization remains current in their invoice. So you have to contact business at lindenlabs.com if you have specific questions. Yeah, so it sounds like to me that they're going back to trying to get schools to come back into SL and they're trying to get like those orgs to come back into SL, which we talked about earlier. But I still feel as though if you're, if you're doing that for outside orgs, you could, you could do something to help your actual consumer base. That is your regular price. Like, that is your regular people that come and spend money in SL without the discounts. Or that have been in SL for 10 to 12 years. That's why I said, char yeah, charity starts at home. Um, yeah. So, it's not even like, what, it's for charity, so we're not going to, we're, we're not going to, like, dice it up and say, charity is okay because it's helping and this it goes this is directly helping emergency workers whereas this is helping um motorola motorola doesn't even exist or toyota or something like that so we're not going to say what's good and what's bad charity is charity right but i do think that you're you have someone in sl for 12 years five years 10 years whatever amount of time and that's been a loyal customer to you don't take their business for granted it would be helpful if you didn't take their business for granted and just decided to yourself, like, listen, you know, this person's going to pay, so it's no big deal. If you're going to offer this 99 Linden, at least maybe offer one, two, but then they're cutting down their profit by a third in Linden Labs. 
assuming that regions is their money maker because we don't know what the money maker is is it the premium membership is it the land is it the fees they get from creators and uh who upload things into marketplace and us who takes tons of pictures and the texture look we don't know where their bread and butter comes from sure we don't but i could also tell you that second life is i always compare second life to the real world in which case i say that second life is like the usa to me right it's a consumer market so Second Life, if you ask anybody who makes themselves Second Life, it's not Second Life's advertisement. It's the creators, it's the events. Like, you don't, please tell me, so if I'm wrong, tell me one thing that Second Life, Second Life as a company has sponsored during this pandemic. Because I've seen Stay at Home, I've seen Together at Home, I've seen all that stuff, but I've not seen them do like anything company wise. So the, it's, it's literally the user base taking care of the user base. So if your user base is taking care of your user base, then you should probably do something for the people taking care of the user base. You know what I'm saying? Like either promote it more yeah. or, you know, like something to like show that like, oh, okay, well, we act like, the, to me, they act like a government, which is cool. Like I actually like yeah. the fact that SL is a free marketplace and that we have control. Like I was talking to you yesterday about like how all of SL is determined by us. Like whatever creators and people do is what SL is. If all of us decided, cool, we're going to like literally just throw concerts every weekend and that's what people are going to do then that's what SL will be so knowing that it's that market I still feel like there's a way for you to kind of reward the people or kind of just help out like what everybody else is doing like I don't know if you don't want to give discounts give out free lending give, give, you know, give people that don't buy lending an opportunity to shop you know something cause, like, you, you know they're in the house like they're they have no other reason but to be in the house but it's kind of it feels like you're like banking on like oh they're going to play SL anyways but now, how, how can we pull in outside companies to come back and say, I feel the same way. Yeah. You know, no shade. And honestly, this is not meant to be a Linden Lab bashing session. But when I saw that on the quiz, I have to be really honest. That was my first reaction. I don't even rent a sim. I just rent a tiny little parcel that I can afford because thankfully I'm still working. But when I did read that, I was like, my feelings was a little hurt. And I don't even have a sim. And I was like, wow, why not? extend this this courtesy or this like um discount to people who have been paying you 250 linden 350 linden for the longest time like they could probably use your help right now yes. and they're the two birds in your hand versus the one in the bush exactly oh no no i'm not i think i think that's a great point honestly and that's that's exactly where i was headed with that thought just uh I don't know, but kudos to all the companies out there in SL, you know, Signature, their their creator, who also creates what nicotine it is, and the together uh, Rafe. Home, yeah, Rafe, whoever, whoever's doing stay, hashtag stay at home. Yeah. Yeah, who's ever doing that? Shout out to those guys for taking care of the user base, because, I mean, that's that's just what we need in SL right now. That's what I think. That's what I think we need in the world. So, I definitely yeah. applaud it. So, so what it does is that we're taking care the community is taking care of each other like it's giving us something to be excited about together at home was an amazing event it was so much fun and i really love the fact that it was for the guys and not to just plug it because you know i blog with signature now and you know zula you do as well but not to just plug it because we're blogging for it but it was a great event stay at home event is great trump Lowell gave away a free cottage and ranch like Alan Torrey has been giving away tons of free stuff, uh, Rick from Alan Torrey. There are just tons of people who have reached out and said, listen, this is what I can do to help you guys get through these rough times. This is what I can do to welcome back new users. This is what I can do to show appreciation to my customers. And guys, this is super appreciated. Like, I get so excited. Sync literally gave away a 750 Linden gift card absolutely free. You didn't have to join the group or anything. Johnny from Paragon does it every month. And he says, you know what? I do it because I know that people can't afford it. Like, outside of this pandemic, people can't afford it. So, Azula, you're absolutely right. Thank you. And it's it's really appreciated. No, no. Thank, thank you for your opinion. That was uh, really nice. And, uh, June, what about you over there, ma'am? I know uh, Mousy beats you all the time, but feel 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 safe to, uh, <laughs> to, to 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 jump into this one. How do you feel about just everything we've discussed so far? Um, so how I feel is that um, I kind of agree. Like, I feel like Second Love could be doing a little bit more for um, the community. Like, currently right now, and I'm not. I hope I'm not tripping. I hope this is actual like 
I'm pretty sure this is true. Because when I when I when you put in ten thousand dollars into the buy Linden money, it's currently forty dollars US dollars, but it used to be thirty three as of just like a week ago. The price is actually going up and I know they can't really control that. I know it's like allegedly like it's based on, you know, everything that happens in SL. But like I feel like they could be like trying to lower those costs knowing everything that's going on right now. And they could just, you know, try to help out with sim costs and stuff like that. Um, and just give back to the community a little bit more. Um, so that's how I feel about that. Oh, cool. Well, thank you again for your input, which is my favorite. So, would you guys rather talk about the fact that Sansar got deleted? Or would you guys, which is still one of the coolest questions, by the way. Or would you rather talk about uh, the Second Life smartphone app? coming out in 2020. I'd rather talk about the smartphone app. What about you, Mousy? Thank God Sansa is gone. No offense to that company, but I think that we need more, um, <laughs> we need more people at the table working on um, just updating, you know, moving us to the cloud and our technologies updating and help us be more efficient and user-friendly as possible. Same, I agree. I did not like the whole. Well, I I, I liked it. I not, I saw what they're trying to do. I saw like a lot of YouTubers talking about it, and uh, the whole like you know moving away from SL because of the engine problems and trying to get like like Sansar probably could have gave us more developmental things. I would say, but I don't know. I, I like SL the way it is, honestly, with all of the bugs and quirks and uh my hair base disappearing problems that Nancy has when she's in the club dancing ball headed. I like I like it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it keeps it it keeps it loose, it keeps it fun. So but then for the uh mobile app, what do what do y'all want to see? And I'll I'll start with you, Judy. What what do, what would you want out of a second life smartphone app? Okay, so here's something that um I thought about and I thought long and hard about um I think we should have mobile linden, and here's, here's what that means for me. I'll explain. So, um, I 